Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Windows volume keeps going up and down by itself. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Audio Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Now in here, make sure to click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on this category. Now click on Other Troubleshooters, and the last thing you have to do in here is click on the Run button next to Playing Audio. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. From here on, you can just close this window, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update your audio driver. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And in here in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Audio Inputs and Outputs, then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers on your PC. From here on, you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. At the same time, you have to also check the sound, video and game controllers in the same device manager window. So expand it and if you have in here a problematic device, make sure to right click on it, select update driver and do again the same. Search automatically for drivers, wait until Windows might find any updates for your PC and close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Now, if this doesn't work properly, you might also have to downgrade the drivers because the current version that you have is not so good and you can downgrade and check if the other one works properly. So do the same with both. Right click the problematic device, then select the properties option. Now in here go to the driver tab and what you have to do you can click on the roll back drive. After rolling back the driver, you'll be required to restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. The same goes in the sound, video and game controllers. Right click the problematic device, select the properties option, then go to the driver tab and roll back your driver. Restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to change the sound enhancement settings. To do this, right click the speaker icon in the lower right corner, then select the sound settings option. What you have to do in here now is scroll way down until you find the more sound settings option. This will open up a new window, which is the sound properties window. Now in here, click on the communications tab and the next thing you have to do in here is tick the box next to do nothing because Windows can automatically adjust the volume of different sounds when you're using the PC to place or receive telephone calls. And that's pretty much it. You can now restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. So what do you think? Did this help you? In case it did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.